In this video, I'm going to demonstrate how to use an angle or degree torque gauge. I was in the midst of uh, installing a head on a Volvo, and this uh, video will just demonstrate how those gauges are used. Okay, now that the head is in place, everything's cleaned up, you got your bolts oiled, uh, you need to torque the bolts starting from the inside working out. So you go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Of course, you torque your 15 foot pounds, then you go back at your 44 foot pounds, and then you go with your angle torque, and that's what I'm going to show you right now. Okay, so here are your tools, your, your uh, 3 8 14 millimeter socket. Like I said, it's a six point. It, you might break it, torquing these bolts down, you might not. Half inch adapter, because your, your angle torque gauge is a half inch, and it's got this, you know, this stop on it. So, some people have a tendency to try to feed this arm from the stop down into the holes that the... Uh, cam cover bolts go in I'm encourage you not to do that so I'm gonna show you what you should do and not what you shouldn't do of course on your angle torque you don't need a torque wrench uh, a nice breaker bar is better so I got my breaker bar here I got my degree angle torque gauge I got my half inch to court to uh, 3 8 inch adapter and then I have my 3 8 14 millimeter socket. That is a six point. All right, this is how I set this angle torque gauge up. I set my degrees on zero because I'm gonna crank it around to 130. Then this pin that comes up from the side, I screw one of the cam cover uh, bolts, just hand screw it into the head because that just holds your torque gauge steady and stops it from uh, turning degrees unless you're actually tightening. So that's how the setup is. Let me go ahead and put the breaker bar on there and swing it around to 130 degrees. Now to get your angle uh, tool in place, you go ahead and set your socket down in the hole until it's on the, on the bolt. Then you swing your lever over till it stops on that screw you have set. Then you go ahead and dial your thing clockwise to zero. Now it's ready for you to put the breaker bar on it and swing it over to 130 degrees. Okay, now I got my breaker bar snapped in place. You could put a cheater on it if you want, but I got a nice long breaker bar. So I go ahead and grab the breaker bar and I start tightening around. I'm passing 30, passing 60. 90, 120, right there at 130. If you feel that this information was beneficial, please like it and share it with your social media friends. You can also subscribe to my channel so that you can get notification of future videos that I post. Visit my channel. I have all types of do-it-yourself videos there. You can leave questions here, and I'll try to respond to them as quick as possible. You can also visit my website at robertspinner.com. Thanks again for watching.